All right. Welcome to Hermitcraft Infinity. That's right. Hermitcraft Infinity. All right. Here we are. That's right. New modded server. Just got started up uh, a day or three ago, I think it is. Let's see. What we got here? We got uh, world domination with open blocks. Okay. I'll read that later. Materials in you. Tinker's Construct. Look at that later. Okay. It's night. It looks like there's a little bit of a village over here. And let's see. All right. What do we got going on here? Let's see. Need to pick up a little bit of starting resources. A torch. That looks like a light bulb. I like that. All right. Let's see here. I would sleep if I had a bed, but I don't just yet. The shears in there. Well, let's uh, find a tree that won't be missed. Whoa. Let's get away from the creeper. Yeah. Okay. Ah, daylight. That'll help. That will help a lot. All right, since it is daylight, let's head over this way. And I'm going to see if I can find a tree that I can get some actual wood for, from. Oh, crap. Ender minis. I think that's what those are. All right. What do we got here? Rubber wood. I don't want rubber wood just yet. I, I want some just plain old wood. All right. Looks like I struck wood. All right. Yeah, spruce. All right. I'm going to get started with some of the basic. You have to outdo this in every kind of Minecraft there is. And uh, I will check back in in a little bit. All right. It's a little while later. And I have managed to uh, do a little bit decently here. Let's see. Can I get a decent enchant on in, on the sword, for example? Uh, what do we got? Bane of Arthropods. Oh, my God. What a waste. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Things are looking busier and busier here at Spawn. There's... Uh, there's a smeltery here that looks like it's partly disassembled. There's all these tinkers things here. And there's a fair amount of farming going on. We've got cows and sheep and uh, farmland that doesn't seem to be planted at the moment. Don't know what's up with that. And yes, the nether has happened. And I have a little story there myself, but I'll get to it. Anyway... I ended up heading out over this way and uh, finding a decent place to settle somewhere nearby. And yes, I have this F7 thing turned on that shows spawnable spaces. And I have an obsession with uh, lighting those areas up so that they're no longer spawnable. But that's just the way I am. Okay, and that, you notice how all that fog suddenly rolled in and it got dim? That's because of right over here, or is it up here? It's over there. There's one of those uh, Thomcraft eerie biomes over there. Not exactly ultra super wonderful. Kind of a hazardous thing, because uh, I got killed by uh, a thing that was living in one of those uh, a few hours ago. All right, so this area right here, this is what I'm calling home here. There's a fair amount of spruce trees around here. I've been harvesting a lot of spruce wood, lighting up the area. I have got some industrial craft rubber trees growing. There's a few more that I need to trim the leaves off of. But here we have TFC's hole and all starter base. And if I go around here, there's not very many ways to get up there. Uh, 
Here we go. Up here, this is the beginning of the above crown, above ground part. And down in here is the real deal. All right, I got a fair amount of chest stuff going on in here. I have a little bit of wheat and some barley growing. I have uh, sugar cane growing in here. I still need to get some lily pads for something for the water, but I'll find it. Anyway, I had a goal. It was something I wanted to do for this very first episode. I wanted to start out being able to fly in the first episode. That's kind of a thing, because flying really is the best way to get around. And so I had it all set up. I was going to start making this thing, Leadstone Jetpack. And I believe I've got all the parts I can make this stuff without too awfully much problem. I've got silver and i uh, got redstone. i got plenty of copper, enough to make at least one of these things anyway. And, uh, well, leather I think I'm short on. Uh, but, uh, the thing that really stopped me right here was the sulfur, sulfur dust. Either from railcraft or thermal foundation, different, two different kinds of sulfur. And, uh, the one, the best place to find it is in the nether. And after my nether experience, I decided I'm not going back in there until I can fly. Uh, I was in there I had to get some glowstone. And, uh, I was mining away at a little bit of glowstone, and along comes heat scar spiders. I had forgotten about those things. I hate those things. They are a royal pain in the butt. And so I basically took my glowstone and ran for the portal and got the heck out of there. And in coming through the portal, I ended up getting killed by uh, something that followed me through. I don't know what it was, but... Uh, it followed me through the portal and chased me down and killed me. That was... Well, either that or it tried to get to me and ended up going into the portal and uh, something like that. Anyway, so I figured I'm going to take advantage of a little bit of what I've learned from uh, recent adventures on Mod Sauce. And I am going with... Uh, sag mail for my early ore doubling. So I'm going to set this thing down. No, that's not going to be a good place. Okay, I'll just carve out some space here. Okay, got a little space made up here. Probably have to change a lot of stuff up later, but for now, this will do. All right, sag mail, you know the drill with that. Stuff comes in, other stuff comes out. And one of the things, like, for example, if you put coal in there, you get pulverized coal or coal powder or whatever out, and about a 10% chance of getting the, uh, what you call it, uh, the sulfur. Yeah, that's it. So, might still have a shot at that. Let's see. Okay, here, to power all this, survivalist generators... It's low tier, but it's a good starter. And I'm wanting to do something with leadstone energy cells to power, to store power. Let's see. Yeah, okay, hang on here. Leadstone energy cell, copper, I need the redstone conductance coil, I need some electrum. Okay. Well, I don't have Electrum, but I do have some way to make that. Let's see. Ah, here we are. Alloy Smelter. Alright, let's get these generators going. Here, here, and here. Let's pop a little bit of 
coal into each one. Now they can hold up to 100,000 RF each. They only produce 5, R, 5 RF per tick, but they get a lot out of each bit of coal. So that's good. And let's see, this thing should be charging up. Yeah, it, it takes a while to generate some uh, power, but that's all right. And this thing should start pulling power from these generators. At least that's the way I understand they're supposed to work. All right, I'm going to let the generators go for a little while and crank up. What I need to do, let's see, some gold, some silver. See, I've processed a little bit of the ores, but I've tried to keep to a minimum of that because I do want to start processing everything through the sag mill right away. Uh, let's see. Let me break this just for a second to make sure it's not sucking down any power. And there's something else, too. The, uh, the generator holds its power when you break it. Only, yeah. Yeah, put some gold up here, some silver up there. Alright, apparently these things are going to need to charge up before they're going to start discharging into that. Alright, got it figured out. Apparently these survivalist generators no longer transmit power when in physical contact with the machine. Uh, I know they used to, but there is an answer, and that is right here, the Sterling generator, which does do that. Oh, that's right. I had to make some stone brick type stuff. All right, bang, Sterling generator. All right, let's get some more coal out of here, and I'm going to go ahead and break this. Pop this down and throw some stool, some coal in there. It will generate power, albeit slowly. Can it take one of these for an upgrade? No, it's going to need the other kind, which I can't make just yet. All right, not a problem. Let's see. Okay, power is accumulating. Good. Put the gold in here and the silver in here, and when it's got enough power to do the job, it will make up some electrum which was needed for the energy cell. Yeah, over here. Need it there to finish up with the energy cell. Or actually, energy cells. Let me get some more copper. And then I'll be able to go ahead and get processing my ores get them doubled in the sag mill and then process them in an alloy smelter which I've got uh, oh the alloy smelters there the sag mills in my inventory okay yeah I'll get myself straight here one of these days there we go there's some electrum there's these guys pop them in here we've got Two leadstone energy cells. Excellent. They will hold a significant amount of power. Now let's go ahead and break this and that. And this too, for that matter. All right. Now let's see. I want the energy cells. I'm going to just pop one here. And let's have the right side for output and left and top and front. No. There we go. 
All right. So that means we can take let's throw the sag mill down first. It should be gaining. No, it's not going to. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Fantastic. Not a problem. Sag mill down and Sterling generator there. It's powering that up. I'll need to keep some coal in there. And let's see. Energy conduit, this stuff right here. We need to make some conductive iron, which you make that with iron and redstone in the alloy smelter. So I need to break this and put the smelter down. Get some iron and some redstone. Well, I only got three, but that'll be enough to start with. only for the moment. That'll let me make up some uh, conduit. Let's see. Conduit binder. Binder composite. Gravel. Sand. And clay. It just so happens I have all of that. Uh, let's see. There's some gravel. There's some sand. And I have a bit of clay. Okay, now that stuff needs to be smelted. So, all right, once it's finished with this, I'll smelt this stuff up, and then we will proceed onward. All right, here we go. That job is done. We've got 16 energy conduits now, which should be a good start. So I'm going to pop these things down here. I'm going to take the survivalist generators. Put them down over that. I'm going to go ahead and break this and that for the moment. And now here, pop down leadstone energy cell. This one is, well, let's just reconfigure. Input from that side output over here. Redstone signal ignore. And it's charging. This, it can only go ADRF per tick, but that's okay for the moment. Now let's see. Run that over here and let's see. We need alloy smelter. We need the sag mill, like so. And they are both charging. Excellent. Let's throw some coal into these things to keep them running. Fortunately, those things are reported to be very efficient with the use of power. So we get the most out of every bit of coal that goes into them. All right. Now I'm going to take some time here and I'm going to run some coal through the sag mill and see if I can get some sulfur. All right. Here we go. That's done. We got a couple of sulfur here. Got some pulverized coal, which I'm sure I'll end up needing for anything else. I'm going to configure the I.O. on this thing. And I'm going to have it pull from the chest and push to the, uh... oh no, wait a minute, do I really want it to do that? Maybe not. Hang on, let me make another chest. Now, 
I'll put it over here. Alright, now configure. We'll push the output to that chest. And then I will handle routing things manually for the time being. And that's because uh, I want things to be made sensible. Meanwhile, I'm going to take all of this ore, pick up my conduits, and I'm going to just start dropping the ore into that chest. And it's getting pulled in there, it'll get processed, and the output will go into this one. Great. And then after a while, I'll set this up. Well, I'll go ahead and set it up now, but after a while, I'll have this thing pushing into this chest. And maybe I'll get an iron chest up here to put on top, or make both of the top chests iron chests. I didn't want them to be connecting like that. I didn't want to confuse things around too much. But anyway, I've got the sulfur I wanted. And that goes right in here to make that thing. Need a couple of these at least, I believe. A pneumatic servo. And let's see. This is it here. Oh, that's right. I needed two of those. Yeah. Okay. Glass, lead, redstone reception coil. Oh, bloody. Oh, that's with gold. Okay. Gold I have. Plenty of. And some redstone. Oh, jeez. Get turned around, why don't you? Oy. Two of them, you know you're going to need them. All right. Lead, glass, gears. Servo. I need another one of those. And I need to make these... Uh, that. Steam dynamos, which shouldn't be a too hideous big deal. All right, I'm going to get these things put together and I'll be back. All right, I just got back from picking up a bit of leather, and that should be the last part of this thing. The leather straps them in here. Bang. Leadstone jetpack. Alright, now in order to build to power it, the energetic infuser. So I need a machine frame, leadstone energy cell. Well, actually, I need this thing right there. Alright. That's right. I already went ahead and made it. I forgot. Imagine that. Okay. Well, all the chasing around and whatnot, you know? All right. It's gaining some power. Put this in here. And it will come out the other side fully charged. I'll be back when it's got a charge. All right. Just finished charging up. And there was one more thing. And I hope this doesn't mean that I have to recharge it again. But if I do, that's okay. Uh, there is another step this thing. And that is, if I take this iron and tin like that, like this, pop this here, I get the armored leadstone jetpack. Okay, so, pop that on here. Let's see. Uh, 
okay it has energy it shows it's in hover mode step outside oh all right excellent <laughs> perfect all right this is great we have flight day one and we're flying this is good now I I get the distinct impression that with hover being in red it means it's not actually enabled and this is what I get for flying close to that uh, that eerie biome from Thomcraft. But okay, that's fine. Seventy-three percent power. So what I'm going to want to do is well, two things. Number one, I want to make a second one as soon as I can, because I've learned in the past the hard way that the only way to go with jetpacks is to have at least two of them and the next thing I want to do is upgrade it for higher power capacity you know much more power storage because look how fast I just I just walk flew over there to spawn and back and it's already at 57 percent so this thing definitely needs to be upgraded, have greater capacity, and I want to have a second one as a backup because, well, you know how that is. You gotta have a backup. If you get killed and the one that you had was off with your stuff, you need a second one to go get it. <laughs> Been there, done that, more than once. Anyway, that's, I think, as far as I'm gonna go today here on day one, of infinity but uh, I will be back soon with more and f honestly after this episode I think what I'm going to try to do is to do shorter episodes and cut a little bit more severely so that I can pack more content per episode even though they're shorter and perhaps have them a little bit more frequently. If you like that idea, please hit the thumbs up button. I certainly would appreciate that. Meanwhile, we have flight on day one. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.